Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to compare two tables in Excel. Like and subscribe to support this channel, let's get started. First, let's compare two columns. We compare two columns row by row using the following formula. Put the equal sign, specify the value of the first column, then the equal sign again and specify the value of the second column. And by default Excel returns the logical value at true or false. Then drag it down to the end of the table. The formula returns true if the values in compared columns are the same or returns false if the values differ. We we'll check the result and we see that in four cases our values differ. Now we compare two columns using the if function. We put the equal sign, write the if function and open the brackets. In brackets we write a condition checking for equality of values in cell C3 and D3. We put a comma and specify what will be output if the values in the cells are the same. For this result we write yes. In quads and here we write no, in case the values don't match. We extend the formula down and get the result presented in this way. And to make the result look clearer, I'll go into the first formula and I'll change the match condition that is yes just to empty quads and extend the formula. And now we see only differences. Next way is using conditional formatting to find differences between columns. Select all cells in the spreadsheet. Let's go to the conditional formatting option in the style section, then highlight cells rules and find duplicate values at the bottom of the list. You get the dialog box, from there you must choose the values from the drop down menu, here you can choose any conditions, duplicate or unique, click OK. It should also be noted that duplicates are highlighted throughout the table, not just in neighboring cells. And to compare two columns without using formulas, we select the necessary data cells, then select Find and Select, go to Special, choose Row Differences and click OK. Matching data cells in the columns are highlighted in white and unmatched cells are highlighted in gray. OK, how do we compare three or more columns in Excel? To do this, use the if function with the end operator. We enter this formula. How does this formula work? If the values in cells B3 and C3 are the same, and at the same time the values of B3 and D3 are the same, then the result is displayed a full match, otherwise the cell remains empty. And if we need to find a match in at least two columns out of three, then the formula will look like this. We change the AND operator to OR and the value of the result because this is no longer a full match. And we will get a match result if at least one of the conditions is equal, the first or the second, otherwise we get an empty cell. So now let's look at a more complicated example. We have two tables, each of them has a different number of fruits, at different prices, some fruits are in the same table, some are not, and so on. And we need to compare such different tables. To do this, use the VLOOKUP function. Opposite the first fruit, we enter the VLOOKUP function, which we see four arguments. The first argument in this case is the name of the fruit we are looking for, and it's an orange. Separated by commas, we specify the range in which we will perform the search, and this is an old list. It's also important not to forget to fix the range by pressing the F4 key, which adds dollar signs, so that later the link to the old price list 
doesn't change when copying the formula to the entire column. Separated by commas, we specify the third argument, which is the number of the column from which we take the data. So in the first column we search, and from the second we take the price. So the number is 2. And the last argument is the exact or approximate match of the fruit names. We need an exact match, so we choose false. Press enter and drag our formula down with a double click and immediately see the differences. See the price has changed and it can be seen immediately if the fruit is not in the old list at all. Then the VLOOKUP function simply doesn't find it and give the error NA, which means the value is not available. Another way to compare is to use pivot tables. Excel cannot build the pivot tables based on two source data tables at once, so we need to combine these two tables into one. In this case, we simply copy the data from one table and paste it under another. And we need an additional column in which we will indicate which data was from the oldest and which from the new one. Let's call it a type. We write old opposite the old rows and new opposite the new ones. And double click to copy the row type down. Now we build a pivot table from this common table, go to the Insert tab, click the Pivot Table button in the Table section, in the window that appears, we don't change anything. As you can see, Excel has selected the desired range itself, and we'll upload our pivot table not on a new one, but on an existing sheet somewhere here and click OK. And here on the right in the pivot tables construction panel we do simply actions. Hold down the right mouse button on the field called fruit and drag it to the rows area. The list type old or new is moved to the columns area and we drag the price to the values area. Let's see what happened. In the row area we got a common list of all the fruits that are in both tables, and without repetitions and sorted alphabetically. In the column area we have two types, old and new, and if there is no fruit in the new price list, but at the same time it was in the old one, for example an apple, we can see it well. Or for example a melon was added to a new list, but there is nothing in the old one at this place. The advantage of this method is that it works very quickly with large tables with thousands of groups, and the minus is probably copying one table under another and some preparation before building the table. Ok, if any data change in the cells of the common table, right clicking on the pivot table and selecting refresh. We'll update it. And finally, the last way to compare is to use the Power Query tool. This is the most advanced way. Before uploading our lists to Power Query, they must first be converted into smart tables. To do this, select the range with the data and select Format as a table button on the ribbon. Or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus T. Next, we upload each of the tables into the Power Query, select any cell inside the table and go to the Data tab and select the From Table Range button. Next, the Power Query window opens, where we see our uploaded data. Here we will do nothing, but simply return to Excel by clicking Closed and Upload to. And in the window that appears, select only Create Connection. And we do the same for the second table. Now let's create a third query that will combine and compare data from the previous two tables. Select Get Data, then Combine Queries and Merge. In the window that opens, select the names of the tables that we want to compare and select the columns with the names of fruits in them and in the lower part set the way of combining full outer. 
when the Power Query window opens, where in the third column you need to expand the contents of the nested tables using the double arrow in the header. In the window that opens you can select which columns we need. We leave everything as it is and you can also remove this checkbox. Click OK. As a result we will get merge of data from both tables. And everything is clearly visible here. For example, a lemon had a price of 35 in the old list and now its price is 20. Or the melon is not on the old list but it is in the new one and costs 15, which means this fruit has been added. Rename the columns by double clicking. Ok, now let's add a column in which we will reflect what change have appeared. The fruit has been added, its price has changed or nothing has changed. Go to the Add column tab and select Conditional column. Let's call the column Comparison and now let's add some conditions under which we will get the result of the comparison. If the value from the old list is null, uh, then this fruit is not in the old list and therefore it was added to the new one. If the value from the new list is null, then this fruit was in the old list and it's not in the new one. We write deleted. And if the price of a fruit in the old list is not equal to the price in the new one, Click on this arrow to select the column, then write that the price has changed. And if none of the conditions worked, that is everything is fine, we write here OK. And as a result we get a comparison column in which everything is described in detail. Which fruit was added, which was removed or the price changed. It remains to upload this table to Excel. Select the Home tab and then Close and Upload to. And in the window that opens, select where to import the table, to a new worksheet or to the current one. Let's choose an existing one and as you can see we have received a pivot table in which it's very convenient to filter those differences that interest you. And if we need to add a new item to any list or change the price of a fruit, then we right click and choose refresh. And as you can see, the Power Query not only recalculated the entire sequence, taking into account the new price, but also added a new fruit that we added to the old list. It's all now, you know a little more. Thanks for watching.